Hi, my name is Lisa Shen, and I'm a product manager with Google Cloud. Ansos provides a unified platform for managing Kubernetes clusters across different clouds and on-prem. These clusters can be running inside virtual machines and instances, as well as on bare metal. Ansos is a 100% software product that extends Google Cloud services and engineering practices to your environments, so you can modernize the applications faster and establish operational consistency across them. Ansos manages not only Ansos GKE clusters on-prem and in multiple clouds, it also manages any standard CNCF compliant Kubernetes clusters such as AKS, EKS, and more. Ansos is a great multi-cluster management tool to manage, standardize, and secure your clusters across multiple cloud environments and Kubernetes vendors. In this video, let's take a look at how to set up an Ansos attached cluster in GCP. We'll use AWS EKS as an example in the demo and show you how to attach an EKS cluster and manage it from the GCP console with Ansos. First, we're going to create an AWS EKS cluster using the Terraform. In this demo, we'll just follow the HashCorp's Terraform tutorial to provision an EKS cluster on AWS. I have done the prerequisite setup prior to the recording by getting the AWS COI, kubectl, and other tools required by the tutorial. I've also provided AWS access credentials in my Linux box via the AWS COI. Next step is to set up and initialize the Terraform workspace. I have downloaded EKS provision tutorial repo to my local disk. And now let's cd to that directory. Now let's first initialize the Terraform workspace which will download and configure the providers by running the Terraform init. Next, let's run the Terraform apply and review the planned action. The terminal outputs indicates the plan is running and what resources will be created. And this Terraform apply will provision a total of 53 resources, including VPCs, security groups, auto scaling groups, EKS clusters, and so on. So let's enter yes. The creation process should take about 10 minutes to create a EKS cluster. Now let's fast forward to the end of the cluster creation. Upon successful application, the terminal prints the outputs defined in the outputs.tf. As you can see, a cluster called education-eks has been created automatically. And you can also verify the resources created by this Terraform scripts via the AWS console here. Now let's take a look at how we attach the newly created EKS cluster to Ansos and use GCP as the single pane of glass management tool to monitor the cluster. First, let's register the AWS EKS cluster in the GCP environment. With these commands, we retrieve the access credentials for the cluster and configure the kubectl. Next, let's get the current context, which should be the cluster, to register. And we'll use gcloud container hub membership COI to do the cluster registration. Registering the cluster outside of Google Cloud installs the connect agent in the cluster to manage the cluster's connection to its fleet. The connect agent needs an identity to authenticate to Google, which can be Google Cloud service account or the fleet workload work identity. 
Connect allows you to connect any of your Kubernetes clusters to Google Cloud, and this enables access to cluster and to workload management features, including a unified user interface or Google Console to interact with your cluster. Now, let's take a look at the GCP console. You can see the cluster right now showing up in the GCP console under the Ansos page. But we still need to log in to the attached EKS cluster. First, we're going to generate tokens to log in into the clusters in the GCP Cloud Console. In the Cloud Shell, we're going to create Kubernetes service account on the cluster and ground it the cluster admin role. Next, we're going to get a token that we can use to log in into the cluster from the console. Let's copy the, the token here. And choose the token option and paste the token. And now you have access to the AWS EKS cluster as a attached cluster. You can interact with your clusters and workload via the GCP console or the COI. You can click on the cluster to view more details. And that concludes the demo for setting up an AWS EKS cluster as an Ansos attached cluster on GCP. So why using Ansos attached cluster? You get a single pane of glass management for multiple Kubernetes clusters no matter where they are with centralized logging and monitoring. You also get a consistent operating model with access to GCP services across the environments. You can orchestrate and manage workloads on the attached clusters like native GCP Ansos clusters. Ansos configuration management and Ansos service mesh will work seamlessly on these attached clusters. You can check out the step-by-step -step guide of setting up an Ansos attached cluster in the GitHub site here. Thank you for watching the video.